So how specifically does Rails handle the cookie stateless issues when we're talking about the web? Well, the way Rails does it is most frequently is what are called sessions. And what they do is that you will send a value in a session variable and that's actually going to get stored on the web server and the server is going to send you a, literally a token that is going to be stored in a cookie and that cookie is then going to be returned back to the server and that server then can look up any variables that are stored in the session so the session is memory that's stored from request to request on the server so you you want to make sure that these sessions also remain small just like the browser cookies remain small because we don't want these sessions when not just one client but hundreds and thousands of clients connect to the server for the, that session to grow and use a lot of space but those sessions can store data on the server and they're accessible from the web page directly as far as security goes the Rails community is is very concerned about security. They've got an entire Rails guide uh, with security, and they talk about how sessions work and how to access those sessions on there. But they also talk about all kinds of ways that you can break things from uh, from a malicious point of view, and how to then fix those things so that your site is particularly protected from all, all these kinds of things and some of these have to do with sessions some of these have to do with, with other things so this is a very good read that teaches you a lot about security and, and, and how you should deal with that and that definitely includes sessions and, and, and how to use them so we're going to um, in the next episodes use these sessions to, to be able to remember that the, the user has properly logged in to our website.